Okay, in this video, we're going to take a look at some of the occasions when a business might change its objectives. Here's a quick graphic showing some of the main business objectives you might study as part of your A-level or IB economics, and hopefully you're familiar with them. Profit maximization, sales revenue maximization, trying to grow the business as fast as possible or increase market share. Business survival might become a key objective. Many businesses are not for profit. They may have social aims as well as pure profit aims. And of course, the objectives of a business may be different in the public sector with state-owned businesses in contrast to privately owned businesses. So there's a quick summary of some of the main business objectives. Of course, there are others. Here's an opportunity for you to press the pause button and think about why businesses might change their objectives over time. Can you think of three reasons why a firm might change their objectives? Well, one is when the market and the economy changes. So factors such as technological advancements and cyclical fluctuations can impact on demand. A good example would be a recession or a broader economic downturn. In the recession, we often find that firms move away from pure profit maximization. Instead, they focus on revenue maximization, maybe cutting prices to increase sales in order to improve their cash flow. So the objectives of a business can change at different points of the economic cycle. A second reason is changing contestability. So, for example, if a new competitor, a new brand, a new product enters the market, a business might need to modify their objectives, their goals, to protect their market share and protect supernormal profits. What we tend to find is that in a highly contestable market, with both actual and the threat of competition, businesses move away from pure profit maximization. Indeed, profit margins get squeezed and tend towards the normal level. And a third reason why businesses might change their objectives is the integration of ESG goals. So shareholders, maybe particularly socially responsible investment funds, they may start to emphasize the importance of ESG, uh, environmental sustainability governance factors. And so as a result, businesses may start to incorporate ESG into their objectives, focusing increasingly on sustainability, on ethical practices, and the wider social responsibility of businesses. Well, this diagram shows what happens if we move from one objective to another. It's a firm in imperfect competition. You maximize profits at Q1, where marginal cost meets marginal revenue, giving a price of P1, a unit cost of AC1. And of course, that gives you a supernormal profit as shown by the yellow shaded area. A firm, as we said, during a recession may move to revenue maximization. That would involve cutting the price from P1 to P2 and finding an output where marginal revenue is zero, output Q2. Now, the firm can still make a profit, shown by the blue shaded area. That profit is below the level you'd get, you would have got at output Q1. Of course, it might decide to go for growth, maximize their market share, maximize their sales growth, and produce an output where unit cost equals price per unit. P3 equals AC3 at output Q3. They're just breaking even, they're making normal profit, so you can't show the shaded area of profit. If there isn't one, they've obviously produced a higher output. So the key point here is that business objectives are not static. They're often quite dynamic. They can and they do change over time. 